Good morning, here we go again. Busy morning. We're going to do stenciling today. And here is some that Ruth has made. I have enjoyed stenciling. I have this stencil here which has just been stuck onto a piece of white card with low tack tape. This is not the lowest you can get, the lowest is the blue one, but these ones are more readily available for some reason and if you stick them on the top or stick them on your hands it takes the extra stickiness off and you can use them on that. This is one that I have prepared ready for actually stenciling, so that's, that's one I can leave there. There are other ones in, in here that you can get Christmas ones, you can get really all different types of ones and some that I haven't actually used yet, so I'm hoping to use them this year. This is one that has been one of my favourites, which I often use for a thinking of you card or for a sympathy card. And if you open it up and place it on the light box, the heat of the bulb comes up through the perspex and makes that really quite warm to touch, and it highlights the pattern on your on your stencil. If you use a bar of soap that you get in most hotel rooms or places if you go away somewhere, you can just score, lightly score the back of it. You don't need to go absolutely mad, just lightly score and it helps the stencils to the stencil tools to slide. These are that's a standard stencil tool. That one there I found difficult and I bought myself padded ones which are for easy grip as I have got hand problems. You will see that they're not all the same. Some are sharper, some are rounder and you get different effects with the different thickness of the stencils. That one is, is quite a good one for me to use mainly because it doesn't stick right through the paper. You don't really want to do the stenciling and then find you've got a hole on the other side. So that one is probably quite a good one. And all you do really is go over all the pattern that's on the back of the stencil until you've got it in a nice, you can feel it digging into the paper. What this is doing is pushing the paper through to the other side and making it stick out as an embossed effect. You sometimes get to a top bit and you think, oh, this is not fitting in the holes very well. So you just turn your stylus round and usually you find that that is the one you can do to catch small corners. If you're doing a Christmas one with holly on it, that's, that's a real hard one to do because the holly's got so many different bits in it. So I tend to avoid the holly ones. The embossing is, uh, is really very relaxing. You can just sit and groove it. You can leave it plain. Sometimes a sympathy card or a think of you card is, is nice if it's plain. Folk don't always want at that time to have something that's very bright and all bright colours. And I like this one for a sympathy card, and I think if you can't, because of that. And you really don't see the finished result on an embossed card with a stencil. I'm going to turn this back round again until it's finished, which is which is quite nice. So once you have done all this part. You maybe say, what do you do now? So after you've done that, you you turn it over. And it looks exactly the same as it did when we started, and you take your light box away and you put that out your road. And I drop my end. I don't want to damage it. And you then take, which I should have my board with me as well. And this is the fun part because you can choose what you, you want to colour it in with. These little makeup pads are super. Uh, these little sponge brushes that you can get. You can get them in any of the, the pound shops or the chemists. And all you need to do is decide what colour you want. Usually that green or that green are quite nice for the stems of the flowers. And you just put that in like that. You can also go into your makeup bags if you've still got one, or if you have eyeshadows that 
you wore and you never liked. They can also work quite well with uh, embossing. And are these special chalks? These ones are. These ones are bought chalks. Uh, I didn't buy them initially. I used eyeshadows initially. And you've got your browns and your purples. And really, as many of the colours you could want. I'll probably be doing dove craft and do craft out of a job here. But if you're new to crafting and you want to try something and, and you don't want to spend an awful lot of money in case you don't like it, then it's a, it's a good way to start. Just get some, get some children's white card, play about with it, cut it in half, buy a stencil. The stencils themselves are not wildly expensive. You can get some very pretty ones. And use some eyeshadows and just play and have, have some fun with them. Um, you can just use them to be very subtle. Um, this is a green that I am particularly fond of. You can also do other ones and, and do them a bit more a bit more adventurous and put them in cart and map them in later and put them in the front of something but I quite like just doing the front of these ones. I think I might have pink. And you just go between the stencil. You don't ever remove your stencil until such time as you have finished chalking in. You do that, you'll soon find out. You've got half of it missing and you haven't a hope of catching it any other way but with the stencil. I have done that. I've taken it off and found, oops, I forgot to chalk it in. It's really easy to forget. But the end result is... Stunning. Um, Stunning with the words you're looking Very for. Very delicate. And then you carefully, very carefully, this is where the low tack, the lower the tack of the tape, the better, because when you take the tape off, the heat in the light box makes it probably extra sticky. Mm -hmm. And it can tear the card. So mine is not the ideal one for this morning, but it just lifts off. And for me, I like the fact that it's it's very well, soft. Well, turned out well. Mm -hmm. You can also lightly spray it with hairspray, which sets the chalk and saves it getting too smudged. So that is giving you that effect. That's lovely. And how would you finish the card? You could finish the card just by putting a peel off with thinking of you. You could, if you were good on the computer, prepare your card beforehand and, and type on or, or print on from a computer what you want to have first of all, then put your stencil on and then do the work on it and, and have your finished re result. But for a thinking of you card or a sympathy card, I, I like it. Plainer, the plainer the better. I do some other busier things, but for that type of card I like, I like something like that. These are ones that are a a bit fancy. That was again done as a stencil, and the stencil was just done in spare card. You all have bits of card that are kicking around. Sometimes even the back of a card that somebody has given you, you can cut a, an oblong off and use a stencil on that. And things that you have got in other cards, just back up your colours and be inventive and make up your own. That's the same one. Um, same kind of card, that one's got the border around it, this one doesn't have the border around it. Uh, possibly because I forgot to do it. <laughs> yeah. So busy doing the flowers and everything, but at the end of the day it really doesn't matter. You can have the circle or not have the circle, it's, it's personal choice. That's lovely. Thank you very much, Ruth. You're welcome. <laughs>